the Moo Moo Math and Science, and a simple diagram of the rock cycle. And the rock cycle basically illustrates how, say, an igneous rock can become a metamorphic rock, or a metamorphic rock can become a sedimentary rock, or a sedimentary rock can become an igneous rock. So I'll break it down step by step so you know what's going on with the rock cycle. So let's get started. So we have the three major types of rocks of the rock cycle. We have igneous, which are born of fire. So I'll use, this as fire by the way, I'll underline that with fire. And then we have sedimentary that is born of, many of them come from sediments. And there's a process that many of them follow in order to be creative, and that is called WEDCCA, W-E-D-C-C, -C, for weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, and cementation. And I'm gonna use the shorthand, WEDCCA, W-E-D-C-C. And then, so then we have metamorphic, which come under heat and pressure. So I'm gonna underline these with orange for heat and pressure. And by the way, that is a terrible fire at the top for igneous. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see, how does a sedimentary rock become an igneous rock? And I'm going to use this color on purpose because it requires heat and it actually melts. Now, the igneous rock can be intrusive or extrusive. If it melts, if it cools on the surface, it's extrusive. If it cools inside the earth, it is intrusive. So how about a sedimentary rock becoming a metamorphic rock? Well, I'm going to use a different color there and it's going to require heat and pressure. But the heat is different than an igneous rock because it does not melt it completely. Now, how about a igneous rock becoming a sedimentary rock? Well, it uses wed weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, and cementation. Well, how about an igneous rock becoming a metamorphic? Yes, you have it. It requires heat and pressure. Now, a metamorphic rock can become an igneous rock if it is exposed to so much heat that it melts. So I'm just going to write melts from heat okay so what have i missed here how about a metamorphic becoming a sedimentary and that is wed kaka okay and then i think i've covered all these and then we have magma which is molten rock underground and sometimes it will cool and create an intrusive igneous rock underground and then sometimes it goes to the surface by uplifting and that creates an extrusive igneous rock okay in addition the sedimentary rock can become a sedimentary rock but i went with the wrong color pen so let me fix that sedimentary rock can become a sedimentary rock yes you guessed it by wed CC and let me point out one other thing the CC the compaction and the cementation sometimes that is called lithification and then the metamorphic rock can become a metamorphic rock with heat and pressure sometimes that's called metamorphism okay and then the igneous rock yes can become an igneous rock with heat and pressure excuse me heat and melting and many times depending on the rate of cooling you get crystals okay and so again i think that pretty much covers the rock cycle remember the rock cycle is when rocks change from one type of rock into another into another type of rock and then maybe even into the same type if you'd like to know more about different types of rocks in the rock cycle, this playlist will help. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.